So welcome to your practice tonight, you guys. Let's come and sit down on the floor without a cushion. So straight on the floor. Come and tailor seat. And then close your eyes. So as you close your eyes, we change the attention from the outside world to the inside world. So as the eyes close, there's more space to feel the posture. So feel your sitting both bones, both of them into the floor, feel if one sitting bone has more weight than the other and then see if you can be in the middle. So in the beginning, as we close our eyes, the mind can be still very busy let it be busy that's totally fine just notice if it is busy and how busy it is and then very gently start feeling the posture you're in feel one vertebra on top of the other so walk along your spine with your attention. And then roll the shoulders back. Tuck your chin a little in. And then see if you can gaze between your eyes. Make sure that the area of your throat and your jaw and your tongue is loose so the energy can float freely from the heart space, from the lungs towards the brain. And see if you can sit with an open chest. So do you pull the shoulders back? The chin is slightly in, but it cannot influence the position of the shoulders. So you really wanna pull the shoulders back in space. And this is all helping you to stay present in your body. And then from there, take an inhale through the nose. And then exhale out of the mouth, but with like a slight. So you're not making a sound with your lips, but you're exhaling out of the mouth. Inhaling. Four more, in and exhales. Inhaling, let the belly come forward. Pull the breath up underneath the rib cage. Pull it up more in the back of the heart space, in the chest, the rib cage, all the way up. And then exhale. Three more, inhale, belly, rib cage chest exhale out of the mouth two more inhale 
no rush. Exhale. And then inhale, belly forward, rib cage goes out, chest lifts. Exhale. All right, and open the eyes. We're going to start with a lot of movement. And if your body physically is not uh, getting giving you pain, if it's just like because you're tired, see if you can start breathing a little bit deeper. Because if you start breathing a little bit deeper because you're tired, then this breath will give you energy to continue more. And only if you if you feel like there's achings in the body, then you can stop the movements. All right. So because I'd like you to have this experience of, um, yeah, maybe you could see it as pushing, but it's like leaving the comfort zone, doing the movement anyway, and this will lift up your energy. It's a very nice uh, sensation because we are able to do so much more than we think and we'll experience it the moment that we allow ourselves to pass that initiative imaginary limit. Okay, let's come and stand up.
the other. are still belly is in and then flex your hands widen your fingers flex your hands widen your fingers keep using your belly Nice. 
everything up and the other one up one up so switch switch other one up one up other one up I remind you guys, energy in the hand, huh? it's like claws, claws. Just bring one hand on the breast, 
One hand on the belly. Just take a couple of breaths. <sighs> All right, just let your hands, arms hang. We're going to move the head around. Use your belly. Take your head forward. Simple circle. for stability. Three more circles. So nice. Now we're going to shake out this movement in the arms. And we're just going to go like this. Shake, like let your shoulders and your arms just hang. And just move them, shake them out. Yeah, use your belly. Yeah? Always the belly is always strong. Let the wrists loose. Hands are loose. Oh, 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 oh. And then roll the shoulders back. All right, so we're going to make some arm movements again, but much slower. I'll take the music a little down. Um, I hope you can hear me okay. Yeah. Okay, so the movement in the, this, we are all doing kriyas, you guys. Kriyas from the Kundalini Yoga. We're just doing it on very modern music. Yeah, so we're not just doing just simple movements a day. There is a science behind what we're doing. Like this is chopping, like breaking habits or whatever you want to cut through in your life. And um, this was also uh, a, 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 a kriya for empowering yourself. The, so the, the arm gestures and the hand gestures, they've all got, it's, it's thought about. So what we're going to do now is, so every every hand is connected to a certain mudra and a mudra is con connected to a certain organ and an organ is connected to a certain emotion so for this one we are going it's it's the heart so the heart is connected with the pinky and we're gonna bend the pinkies and the rest of the fingers are gonna go up for some people it can be challenging in the beginning it was for me too and so you're gonna get your thumbs around your pinkies, your thumbs around your pinkies, and the, the rest of the fingers are gonna be straight. So now we're gonna move um, the breath and the arms. So what we're gonna do is, we've done it before, hips, the feet a little wider than the hips. You're gonna stretch the three fingers, the six fingers, and then we're gonna, gonna go inhale, exhale. Exhale out of the mouth. And then as you are doing this movement, see if you can stretch your whole body. 
So fingers are straight, arms are straight. Feel the front side of the body opening up and then draw it back down. Inhale. I like to open my mouth. Inhale. It's normal that it can be tiring. If you're not used to breathing wide and slow, it can be very tiring. One more. Very nice. Let's take a couple moments. Feel, close your eyes, feel the effect in your system. And so as you're breathing, maybe you notice that there's a little bit more space in, because the vertebras, has been, the muscles have been opened up. So maybe you can breathe a little deeper. And then we're going to go forward this time with, with another hand shape. You're going to bend your thumbs and then get the fingers over the thumbs. Now we're going to go forward. So you're going to go down and then inhale up. Exhale down. So if you're like me and you're a little overheated, <laughs> then you can breathe through the mouth. Inhale and exhale. This will cool down your system. So feel free to in and exhale through the mouth as well. Now we're gonna go a couple more, but I'd like you to close your eyes and to really connect with your body. Feel your feet on the floor, widen your toes. Now as you're moving your legs and your upper body, feel that you're engaging the inside of your thighs, your belly, your pelvic floor is closed. And notice all the muscles involved with the movement. We're gonna do three more. Inhale up, feel your belly. Exhale down, inside of the feet, outside of the foot, inner thighs strong. Very nice, you guys. Now, as you come up, keep your arms up, interlace the fingers. Stretch it out, strong in your arms. And then we're gonna go and stick in the middle, but bend the upper body to the left. Tuck your tail down, roll the lower back down. Look up. One 
One more big breath here. Feel the side stretch. Keep pushing both of your feet into the floor. And then we're going to go to the other side. Same weight on the feet. Roll the lower back down. Tuck your table. Tuck your sacrum down. Look up. Maybe with your eyes closed, but be connected to the left side of the stretch of the body. And then you're going to come up. Take both of your arms behind you, interlace the fingers. And then bend your knees, spread your toes. Roll the lower back down, belly strong. Pull the shoulder blades towards each other. And then take your head back. And then we're going to slowly come forward. So bend your knees, use your belly. Roll the thighs in as you come forward. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Then let go of your neck. Close your eyes and arrive in this shape by pushing the feet down, spreading your toes, deepening your breath, and then one by one you bend your knees and feel how that affects the sensations in the lower back. Big breath. Take three more big breaths. Push your feet down, engage your thighs, use your belly, and then from there, roll the thighs in. Feel that it opens up the lower back. Relax your shoulders. <laughs> Flutter the lips. Take your head from left to right, yes, no. Take them circles in the neck. there slowly come up keep your eyes closed roll the shoulders back and then breathe into the back body take a couple of more big breaths blood flow goes down again and then because of the blood flow coming back to kind of normal the thoughts take over again just notice how that goes all right so we're a little bit more into the body come to the front of your mat Start preparing to take off. Engage your feet, your legs. Yeah, still roll 
pull the lower back down. So we're going to take off with Sun Salute A. And start connecting to your breath. I'd like us to do this very aware. So it's the combination of breath, focus, and movement, which is going to give us the magic. So, connect to your feet, your inner thighs, roll the lower back down, roll the shoulders to the back. We're going to take one more big inhale before we take off. So remember, breath is boss. Inhale, lift up your arms. Exhale, lower down, roll the thighs in, bring both of the hands on the floor. Inhale, look forward, open up the chest. Exhale, take your feet back, come to your plank. Strong legs. Big deep inhale. And exhale, slowly lower down for five, four, three, two, and all the way on the floor. Push the pubic bone into the floor. Take both of your arms to the back. Squeeze your upper arms towards each other. Look down. Inhale. Exhale, lift your legs. Inhale, pull the upper arms closer to each other. Exhale, squeeze the upper arms towards each other. Lift the legs. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Stay here. Then bring both of the hands next to the ribcage. Inhale. Slowly come up. And then exhale, downwards facing. <sighs> Sigh. It out is if there's stuff to release. We're going to take three more breaths in downwards facing dog. Close your eyes, arrive in your body with your attention again in this shape. both of your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, look forward, open up the chest. Exhale, take your body back over your legs. Inhale, push your feet into the floor as you lift up. And exhale, bring both of your hands in front of your heart. Nice. Inhale, lift up your arms. Keep the feet active. Exhale, lower down, thighs in, hands next to your feet. Inhale, look forward, open chest. Exhale, take both of your feet back, come to your plank. From there, place the knees on the floor and lower down. Inhale, come to your upwards facing, shoulders back. And exhale, downwards facing dog. This time we're going to lift up the right leg high. And then on an exhale, carefully, carefully place the right foot in between your hands. Now take your left foot a little bit more to the left. Okay, so you are, you have even stance. Hands on the hips, lower back down. Lift up the arms, inhale. Exhale, we're going to just move forward with the upper body. Two more. Inhale. Slowly exhale, pushing the left knee up. One more. Inhale. And exhale, take the arms back. Use the belly, tuck the navel in, push the left knee up. 
from there inhale lift up and then exhale slowly place your left knee on the floor now put the back of the foot on the floor push it down make sure you are stable take both of the hands together squeeze your head with your arms Now, most of you were Sunday here with me. You remember we did a lot of twists. We're gonna go to the same twist. So inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, bending to the right. Now we're gonna get the left arm on top of the right thigh. And then we're going to twist. Use your belly. Now see if you can pull the right hip back in space so the right hip the, the the from the leg that you are leaning on pull that to the back of your mat and then you feel this nice opening around the bone of the right hip it's such a juicy sensation oh Very nice. Now see if you can place this left hand on the outside of your left foot and then lift up your right arm. Keep pulling the right hip to the back of your mat. Strong legs. Feel that nice twist in your spine. And then from there, we're gonna place both of the hands to the front and then take your right knee next to your left. So we're in a uh, tabletop, couple of cat stretches. Inhale, open, and then exhale, rounding. Four more, inhale, roll the shoulders back, use the belly. Very slowly, while you're pushing your hands into the floor, chin to chest. Close your eyes, three more. Push index finger into the floor, spread your claws. Exhale, rounding the hips, pulling the navel to the spine, tuck the chin in. Two more, inhale, engage even your thighs. Maybe you want to put the tops of the feet down. Exhale, round it up. One more, inhale, shoulders to the back. And exhale. From there, place the toes into the floor. Come back to your downwards facing dog. Two more big breaths in down dog. Feel how you are gradually really sitting down in your down dog. Meaning, so in, in Sanskrit, this sensation is called Stirhasukam Asanam. So you're steady in the seat of your pose. And because we're doing some preparation to come here into this posture, we are much more aligned and we feel that the whole body is participating in the shape. I hope you feel what I'm talking about. Now from here, we're gonna lift up the left leg high, use the belly. So, and then exhale, take your left foot in between your hands. So mind you, if you're just starting out your yoga, you cannot feel what I'm talking about. I mean, it would be great, but I don't think it's possible. So just that, you know, um, the right foot is going a little bit more to the right. And so you're stable and then you're gonna come up. Okay, make sure your alignment is good. So left knee above left heel. Your left hip is a little bit back. Your right hip is a little bit forward. Strong in your inner right thigh. Inhale, lift up your arms. And then on an exhale, we're gonna take the body forward. Arms to the back. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming forward, inner right thigh strong. One more, inhale. 
And exhale forward, stretch the right knee up. From there, inhale, lift up the arms. Now interlace the fingers, squeeze your head. And then slowly lower the right knee down. Hmm. Close your eyes, take a big deep inhale, just feel the shape. And then on an exhale, you're gonna bend your upper body to the left. Keep tucking your lower back down. So as you're doing this movement with the upper body, make sure that the hips don't move. This is all stable. And why? Because you're using your muscles. You're using the muscles of the thigh, of the belly, of the, of the perineum. Everything is super strong, yeah? So don't be smushy, like thinking about the future or the past and just taking some sort of copying the visual shape. No, 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 none of that. Be in your body, feel what's happening. From there, we're gonna get the right arm on the left thigh, and then we're gonna push both of the hands on top of each other. Now, I'd like you to twist from the navel. So on an inhale, roll the shoulders back, and then on an exhale, pull the navel back to the spine, and then we're gonna go into that juicy area again, around the lower back left hip. So when you're doing this nice twist, right shoulder to the back, left shoulder to the back, chest open, you're gonna pull the left hip to the back of your mat. Pull the left hip to the back of your mat and at the same time, draw your, your um, navel towards the ceiling. So you go there with your attention and then all of a sudden you feel those muscles talking to you. Isn't that magic? Take three more breaths. All right, now from there, we're gonna take this right hand on the outside of the left foot. So first you wanna really squeeze, shift, twist your body to the left. And bring your right shoulder on the outside of the left knee if possible, maybe on a block or maybe on the floor. Then take your left hand on your lower sacrum and then maybe lift the arm. Five breaths. Again, keep pulling the left hip towards the back of your mat. Two. Three. Four, it can also be like this, eh? and five. Very nice. Bring your left foot to the back. Come on both of your knees. Widen the knees, take your feet together and just come to your child pose for five big breaths. So you're gonna bring your buttocks to your, to your heels, break your forehead on the floor, close your eyes. Big deep inhale. Big deep exhale. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. You're slowly gonna come up. We're going to come in hands and knees. Yeah, so bring your hands right underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And now use your belly, tuck your navel in. And then bring your right arm forward 
and your left leg back. Yes. Okay, stay here. Inhale. Exhale, take your left leg a little higher. Right arm a little higher. But keep tucking your lower back towards your right heel. Nice. Now take your right hand, your left foot. Flex your left foot and bring it up. Look over your right shoulder. One. And just be, see if you can be still again in your posture. Stirha Sukham Asanam. So don't try to go further. Don't force yourself. Be happy where you are and switch the approach to observation. And then come back and sit with your heels, your buttocks on your heels for a moment. <sighs> so I have a, a metal pin in my back. I have two broken knees operations. I have a shoulder issue, uh, which will never heal. So I have quite a bit of, of, of things going on in my body, which makes, which makes it that I cannot perform all the yoga postures simply because I cannot backbend and 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 so forth. So uh, the reason why I share this with you is because I needed to learn so much to forget about the do I succeed in the posture or not? Or hold that approach. I had I, I had to. I didn't have a choice. So it's really again not about if you're succeeding in doing the posture because the posture is only there to guide you to a certain state of mind and that state of mind is observing what is being in your breath and fully accepting the state of your body and in return this helps us to accept life as it comes towards us okay let's go to the other side so bring both of your hands underneath your shoulders Separate your knees a little. Engage the belly. And then this time bring your left arm forward, right leg back. Engage with your inner right thigh. Maybe you can lift a little higher, left arm a little higher, but keep rolling the lower back towards your left heel. Big breath. And then from there, bend your right knee, grab with your left hand, your right ankle, and lift it up. And look over your left shoulder, close your eyes, and then be in the sensation and your breath. And then come back. Nice work, you guys. So this again, we're, this is gonna, this is asking for rounding the 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 whole spine. Huh? So we're gonna take the chin in. See how far you can push the backside of your body up towards the ceiling, taking the chin in. And then we're gonna move to the side, down, other side, and up. So we're gonna make this spinal movement. It's difficult to explain, but I hope you can see it and understand. But it's really, again, as you close your eyes, we're going to take this movement to every direction. So we're going to make circles horizontal and vertical into all directions. So as we're here, close your eyes and I'm going to leave you up to it for a couple of breaths. Feel how your own spine wants to move.
We're going to stay here for another minute. So really take your time. Close your eyes. This is freestyle. I'm encouraging you to feel the needs of your own body. It will show the way to you. If you feel that you had enough of making the circles and you have felt every corner of your back and we're going to come into Anahata Asana so that's the chest opener we're going to start this with rolling the lower back down engaging the belly and then from there take both of your arms forward forehead or chin on the floor So in the end, you want to align your hands with your elbows and your shoulders. Very nice. Take one more big breath. And then from there, we're going to come back to a child pose with the arms to the back. Close your eyes, focus between the eyes. And take three more slow, big in and exhales. Notice where if thoughts comes in and it pulls for your attention, notice where you go in your mind, notice what's happening. Ha. Okay, so we're going to come up and sit and we're going to slowly work towards being able to do this bind. But um, I hope you guys didn't eat too much before class because if you did then it will be quite hard so let's see okay take both of your feet and if you are not so bendy yet take a block and you sit on the block because when you sit on the block it will be easier to stretch your legs and then be on top of the sitting bones you don't want to be here yeah on top okay then from there you take your right knee in Yes. Bring your left elbow around your right knee. Now lift up your chest. Roll the shoulder back and the other one as well. And then see. Both of your feet are active. Close your eyes. Keep lifting the chest. Keep activating your feet. Lift the chest. 
Now, this inner left eye is working, is super active, yeah? Inner left eye is super active. And then we're going to get this elbow on the outside of the knee. Oh, it's such a nice stretch. Eh? You feel it immediately in the upper back. Maybe you don't. Depending on your state of your body. Close your eyes. Now see if you can connect to your lower back, middle back, upper back. Keep lifting up towards the ceiling and then with every exhale you use your arm to twist maybe a little more but you want to make sure that the neck is free Nice work, you guys. Now, we're going to loosen this situation. And I, I'd like you to uh, make a big sigh. Just three more big breaths. Close your eyes. Be in the feeling. We're going to go to the other side, left foot in, activate the, the hand, take the right elbow around the left knee, and then lift, 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 bring both of the shoulders to the back, close your eyes, relax your neck. Make sure it's, uh, Sari, I'm not sure if you are doing crosswise. So it's it's now the left knee up and the right elbow around. Because eh? I cannot see your whole body, but yeah, yeah, you're doing it crossing. Okay, great. So we're, we're using the uh, right elbow to go around the left knee. Very good. Ik kan je niet helemaal checken, Annelies, omdat ik je niet helemaal zie, maar... I guess you do it fine. Then we're going to get this elbow, this time at the outside of the knee. So the, le the right elbow, outside of the left knee. Yeah? And then it's, it's the lifting up that's going to give the twist. Now, some of you can make the bind, so you go through the hole and then you make the bind. And slowly come back, side out. So, so much stress is stretched into the spine. So the moment we open up the spine, a lot of tension gets released. Now, I would like you to come in 
Bada Konasana. And see if you can grab both of your feet like this. So we are used to do this posture with the feet forward, but this time we're going to get the feet back. Now, see if you can flex your feet and then open up your toes and then push the feet against each other. And because you push them against each other, you can lift up your buttocks and then see how close you can get. Then from there, keep the feet active, bring your hands around your feet and lift up your chest. Now, the moment you will lift up your chest, you'll feel the groin opening up and see if you can relax your legs. And then the secret is in the activity of the feet and the legs. You want to keep pushing the feet against each other. And then you want to keep pushing the lower back forward, middle back, upper back, chest open. And also, if you're here, that's fine. As long as you feel the groin opening up, you're good. So we're going to stay here for a couple of breaths. Now, some of you who are supple, you can bring your elbows on the floor, but with an open chest. Keep your shoulders to the back. Keep pushing the feet against each other and it's just so nice to just lean into. I would say when you get to the point that you really feel highly motivated. Lean into the stretch. Just towards keeping your virtue. Then you'll, ex you'll discover quite quickly just how extraordinary life was meant to be, could be. Be in your breath. And it's, and it's, it's just we get so messy. It's not that we're doing lots of wrong things, but our mind is so messy. We don't keep it simple. And, and we end up making the life that we're living so inordinately complicated. And completely unnecessarily. And it's such a shame to end up feeling <laughs> in a real muddle when actually you ought to be having the time of your lives. takes mindfulness and virtue to come to a fortunate human life. Ooh. 
slowly come up. The chance to be part of this happens briefly. Stretch your legs forward. The invitation is not to show how inventive and imaginative you are, but how much you can notice what you're Slowly come forward. Slowly come forward, chest open. And appreciate it and share it. And care about those that are around. Look out for their welfare while you're looking out for your own. That's it. And then you'll get to the end of it having had a awesome time. Knowing that you that might is be here. You recommend to others. That's fine. Here. Five more big breaths. You all know, you all know this place inside where it's all right. You all know that when you let me go, go, it's not this black hole. Guys, we're gonna come down and lie down. And you came here with a sense of wonder, and somehow the wonder of it wasn't enough for you to stop wondering at it and started wondering about yourself. And in your wondering about yourself, you forgot what you came here for. What you come lie here. down. We're gonna go to Shavasana. So take your blanket. So just for your information, um, if uh, you need to have your uh, monthly, how is it called in English again? Well, we know, you know what I'm talking about. If you need to have, if you're at that moment in your month that you need to become, to have your rules, I, I don't know. How you say it in English, but um, so then, and you you need to have it, and it's like um, not coming. This last posture we we took is gonna help you a lot. So you stay in that posture for like ten minutes or so, and you'll feel that that will uh, amplify the process of having your period. So just for your information. All right, so here we are in Shavasana. Take enough space between your legs so your lower back can relax and then bring your breath to your belly feel on an inhalation belly is going up exhale belly is going down see if you can relax your stomach the area above your belly so the only thing you need to do to relax it is to, just to place your hands above your stomach if you don't know where it is. So then you tell your unconscious where it is, you place your hands on it and then see if you can relax that area simply by putting your attention there. So if you're stressed, often it goes to the stomach. And 
and then relax your shoulders, your arms and your hands. Relax your neck and your jaw. Feel if the space in your throat is open. So relax your tongue. And then relax your mouth. Your nose. Feel that your head is in the middle, so maybe you can roll it to the right and to the left and then feel your middle point. the space between your eyes gaze between your eyes just to keep your attention here in the present moment relax your eyes your hair skull And then notice how relaxation is a process. For the longer we stay here, relaxing the whole body, connecting to the breath, more and more muscle groups will let go. five rounds of pranayam, inhaling for five, exhaling for ten, and blocking the breath for five. Make sure you use the whole content of the lungs. So you breathe from your belly all the way to the chest and down. Exhale everything out. And then inhale, start in the belly. One, two, Three, four, five, exhale, ten, nine, eight, four, three, two, one, block, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, Two, three, four, five, exhale, ten, nine,
four, three, two, one. Block. Two, one. Inhale. One. All the way up. Five. Exhale. Ten. Nine. Three, two, one. Lock. Five. Four. Inhale. One. All the way up. Further than you normally go. Exhale. Ten. Nine. Three, two, one. Block. Three. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Four, three, two, one, block. And then let go of manipulating your breath. Let the breath be organic. And then you start following with your mind, with your attention, your breath as it wants to go. So we're working here with the five bodies, the five layers. Ma Ananda Maya Kosha, the, the physical body, we've just been moving a lot. Then we worked with the breath, Pranamaya Kosha. This all has an influence on our emotions and our thoughts, Manumaya Kosha. From the meditation or the observation we're doing right here, right now, our Vigyana Maya Kosha, our wisdom body is being activated. Our observer is being activated. And from the observation, we know and we can easily, intuitively see what needs to be thought, said or done to get us to this state that we might be closer at right here, right now, a state of bliss, Ananda Maya Kosha. We connected the different layers with each other, the different layers of our being. Yoga means to yoke, to join, to unify all the layers which influence each other, which balance. The exercises balance our layers out so there is more information, influence and communication between the layers to give ourselves this state of balance and ease. So let's take a big stretch, take the arms behind you, push the feet forward.
time in your own time come to see it. Activate the skull, pull on your earlobes, ah, so the vibration is in your, in your skull, in your head, so nice. I'm gonna pull my earlobes, but it's such a nice feeling. Ah, take a big yawn, roll the shoulders back. Close your eyes, bring your hands in your heart space. So thank yourself for taking care of your own body-mind system. Gratitude for this practice, gratitude to be with each other, to be so loyal that we are here every Tuesday evening with each other. Thank you so much. And let's finish with three full ohms. Take a big deep inhale. Thank you guys.